about um, Alicia wearing this um, sleep mask. Were you aware of her habits before you moved in with her? Yes. She always sleeps in a sleep mask, which I understand because it gets very bright in here. But I don't like sleep masks because um, I don't like feeling... Oh, that would make me claustrophobic. I don't like feeling something on my face while I'm sleeping. So what I do... a little what I do is I just have very dark curtains that black out all the sun from my room. But you can't go in my room right now because it's a mess. So this is my dream hair color, Fire Engine Red. But I don't do it because I'd have to bleach my hair and then I'd have to dye it and I'm afraid of ruining my hair. But also, like what I was trying to say is, you know when people like if they're brown hair and they dye it blonde, like when it grows back to dark roots, not that that's like awesome looking but it doesn't look bad yeah. but I feel like it'll be ten times more worse if I have red hair which I heard fades to pink very quickly it does I've like so it. red hair faded to pink and then like these black roots growing out I feel like that's just gonna look like super duper awkward and I don't think I have what it takes to do the maintenance have you ever had hair. really bad hair disasters getting it done no yes I have a haircut well never dyed because I've never really dyed my hair okay. but I've had disaster haircuts where like I asked for a short haircut to be at my shoulders when it was dry and to be like lots of layers and this girl gave me a haircut up to here and there were no layers in it it was like this was just, oh, how many years ago was it? I don't remember how many years ago it was exactly but I remember I looked like Gerard Way from oh, My funny. Chemical Romance and I was so upset I went home and I cried to my mom and she's like well why did you pay for it? And I was like, <laughs> because it was my sister's friend actually apparently she's better now but hopefully she doesn't hopefully. see this I had my hair turn green before. Really? Uh, it was supposed to be blonde, and it went green. It was bad. That's not cool. It was at Supercut, so I will never get hair <laughs> at Supercut again. You get what you pay for. If you go to like the $10 place, you're going to get a bad A $10? Haircut. Actually, oh my god, I walked out of Supercut. This uh -huh. was like less than a year ago. The girl left a strand of my hair like this long and never cut it. And when I went home, I realized it. And I was like, how could you like miss that, that long chunk strand of hair? hair? Yeah. yeah. No. Well, so this is... I vicariously live out my hair color through these wigs. Mm -hmm. When you get older, are you going to let your hair grow gray or like classy or are you going to dye it? Well, it depends. I think I'll probably just leave it. Like I get gray hairs now all the time, like here and there. But if like your I, mascara could help cover that up. But like if I go white, then I might dye, just dye it red because I'll be one one less step. Oh, yeah, that's so, cool. I actually wouldn't be too upset maybe if I went So like, here's to white. going gray. Yeah, here's to going gray. <laughs> With my jingle hopper. <laughs> <laughs>